that's a great event. Awesome. I'm looking forward to being in a place where I don't feel under attack, where I don't feel um, but just so sad that our country and our society is very misplaced of denigrating people like that. Making them feel like they have no place. It's just ours to start over all over again. a short clip from a segment that CNN posted to Twitter about the McHugh family from Florida. They are forced to leave their own state to protect their trans child. Now in this next clip that we're about to watch, they're going to explain why they decided to seek out gender affirming care for their daughter, and it's because, spoiler alert, they take their child's health seriously as any good parent should. So let's listen. I had never really heard that much about trans people until I was like, 11 or 12, I didn't even know trans people existed. So I was just miserably uncomfortable. I started hormone blockers pretty soon after that. I mean, there was times before she started getting hormones and stuff that she was suicidal, on, but after she transitioned, she was much more outgoing, much more like comfortable with herself. many families that are leaving, I really think if you were to ask a member of a trans family, they would tell you that they go to bed at night drinking or having a cup of tea. That's, That's crazy, so bro. And it doesn't I'm, make sense that they're lead, that, that certain people are, uh, that certain people left Florida. Florida. That's, it doesn't make sense that certain people left Florida, bro. It doesn't make sense that certain people are leaving are 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 leaving Florida because they deludedly think that DeSantis is anti-trans, anti-LGBTQ+. Uh, Dwayne Wade and his family left Florida. He, he yeah, he, 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 he thinks that uh, DeSantis is anti-trans. That, yeah, that's, that's, bro, that's, that's goofy, bro. Yeah. Yeah, Wade Wade is bugging. The Wayne Wade is bug is bugging, bro. He he's on that woke time. He's on that goofy time, bro. Gabrielle Union, they're both on that goofy time, man. Wokeism is a, is a disease is a disease, man. Wokeism is a blight. Wokeism is, is detrimental. It's terrible. Bro. We are seeing 